Hi, good afternoon. This is Miss Brenda, and today's lesson would be, or today's presentation would be about teaching kids the days of the week. Um, I just thought that it would be um, a good way to keep them um, to keep them learning about the days of the week now that they are at home, now that they are not uh, usually doing the morning circles or now that they are homeschooled so this is my way or just one of the ways that I explored about or on how to teach children the days of the week so it is actually I tried to coin it like for homeschooled child um, so that the mom the son and the daughter are part of the presentation now i just got it from pinterest anyway so the learning outcomes of this presentation would be of course the domain is a long language uh skills is phonological awareness uh indicator is identifying letter sounds as well as syllables we can gently uh push them into syllables uh, when they are learning months of the year or days of the week. All right, so the materials that I have gathered would be this. The days of the week printouts. So I just have this one printed right away. And then another one would be, or markers and crayons are also needed. So you have crayons and you have markers. Um, I basically I don't let them use um, markers because they do not know how to follow the lines or the outline of the pictures yet but for now let's try to scan for something about using um, markers as well and then another material or, or other materials are glue and pairs of scissors uh, in using glue, normally this is not the glue that I give them. It is only the round, small ones. And the pair of scissors, we have to be very careful if they are not well um, versed or they have not used. Or maybe we can say that it's their first time to use pair of scissors. We need to tell them that they need to be careful. And then we demonstrate about how to um, let them... Uh, put their fingers inside those two circles or the handles of the scissors All right now the first instruction would be to present the days of the week now How do I present the days of the week? Normally we just usually I have poster in my classroom and I I try to point at each day of course it starts with Sunday and so on but for now Let's try to use this one. This is from YouTube also. And it is more of um, super simple songs. All right, we can start from here. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. One more time. structure of the days are they are only turning the first syllables the first syllable and uh, the last syllable which is day is permanent that is one way in which the kids would be able to know the last syllable which is day and uh, you know the arrangement of the letters are, are already there d a y so they now can recognize that the last syllable of the days of the week would be day the first two, like in Saturday, so those are three syllables. Uh, and if you uh, would go back to all the days of the week, like from Monday, see, it's already uh, it's already what do you call this? Separated Monday. So if the teacher is going to coach them, 
by saying one and then you point out one circle or one, one finger day so you have two and then you just have to get that when after after um, doing all of this you now can start with what you are supposed to do during uh, I mean that day so print out the days of the week and then give each one of them a piece of the print out and then so coach them that the first now you will find a difference so you have monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday why did i arrange it that way it was so because um i am trying to drive you at the end of the lesson i will try to drive them into saturday and sunday as the two week ends and the first five are weekdays so uh, because it is purposely done that way so i have those given uh, to each of them and then i am going to give them markers or crayons to color the words also and then talk about the days of the week help them recognize order in which they appear now if you have the poster or you go back again to to youtube simple uh, super simple songs and then after they have colored each day it's time for them to have the pair of scissors cut around each box that surrounds the word and later on they are going to glue the word down on the piece of paper you set aside so they are going to put it uh, on, a, on another stiff like a construction paper or if you want to print it right away on a construction paper that would be nice also um, now along the coloring time what are the questions that you may ask them for comprehension how many days are in a week so they have to count you lead them into counting um, and then probably you can also ask what are the days of the week so one two three four and so Monday to Sunday and what is your best day of the week why so ask them why how did you know that that is the best day of the week and so on so any questions would pop up what day is it today what about tomorrow what day was it yesterday so recall on yesterday today and tomorrow clue all right and then other questions would be which days are weekdays so remember i told you that i group all the weekdays and i group also the weekends that is for them to know that the first one monday tuesday um i also integrate something like five school days what are the days that you are in school so they will remember that oh it's monday today it's a first day of school second day of school third day of school and so on now recognizing that they know already the order of the days of the week they will be able to know how many days are they in school five what days are they and so on what are the weekdays why do we call or weekends why do we call it weekends why do we call them weekends or weekends that is because it is the end of the week what are those days that are considered and so on so it's just like a rolling uh question and answer and um using using their paper using everything that you have already prepared for them let's say you have a poster and then you let them sing again the youtube thing so weekend and weekdays they, they can identify that then after coloring ask them to paste the box and they just cut on the wall so they can print they can paste it anywhere on the wall you probably can help them uh have the uh, masking tape or a scotch tape to pin anything on the wall now your instruction would be this i'm going to play a music uh let's say sunday monday and so on you have it on your let's say if you have a, a smart board or a tv that you can use to accompany your teaching you can use that play the super simple songs and then let them say okay it's sunday point at sunday touch sundays the words that are sundays the words that are mondays most likely they are everywhere in the classroom and that will comprise your physical and movement see as quickly as they can or clap their hands to count syllables of its words like monday choose monday ask them how many syllables two or they can use stamping their feet to um 
determine or distinguish how many syllables make up the word Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Okay, so that will be a little different. Most of them might not get it, but try to clue and find out how many syllables there are by stamping or clapping or by clicking their fingers. I don't know how to click my finger anyway. So, teaching the days of the week can be really fun. It helps the children to learn the words and remember the order of the days of the week, right? So that is our purpose. Um, not only that they're going to talk about the days of the week, which is one of the domains, the indicator would be sequencing the order of the days of the week, and at the same time, um, counting how many syllables there are it's on each day. Um, if they are queer enough, if they are really smart, they probably can point out day, 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 they all end in day. So those are some of your general concepts uh, at the end of the lesson. And for everything that you have done for your little ones, thank you so much for watching. And I hope you follow through with all of the little bits that I am um, teaching online. Maybe one of those would be one of the things that you can do in your own house or home or in school if you are or in a child care center. Thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye.